All right, check this out. You guys are back on the Hater World and on Blue Devil. What we have going on today is a video of T. Rao from the Fig Community World responding back to Adam22 from No Jumper. Now, I recently did a video on Adam because he was talking very greasy, very loud, very disrespectful towards T. Rao and his family. And you know that in the streets, we don't, we don't mess with family or kids. And Adam has crossed those boundaries. But check it out. Before we press play on the video to those that are new and you don't want to wait for this intro, fast forward to the three minute mark. All right, fast forward to the three minute mark. That's where the video starts. But check this out. To those that are new to the hater world, make sure you go over, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, like the video, run up the comments. I pin the best comment. Uh, and I try to reply to everybody. With that being said, go hit us up on all our other pages. Blue Devil Reactions here on YouTube and Hater World Uncensored here on YouTube. Now check this out. I got a video right now on Blue Devil Reactions. Top 12 richest gangs in L.A. County. And on Hater World Uncensored, we go live every day. Monday to Thursday from 8 to 10 and Saturday, Friday and Saturday from 8 till one in the morning sometimes two so we're gonna go live friday and saturday for the music request on hater world is censored make sure you pull up also also if anybody wants to hit me up directly for whatever it might be you want to net bang on me you want to tell me i'm fake you want to tell me i'm real you want to tell me that i'm cool go hit me up on instagram the hater world Blue Devil 113% should be my name. Bam. And if you want to rock with the team, we got a team, uh, Hater World Media. I'm telling you right now, go lock it in. Hater World Media, that's going to be one of the best media pages on Instagram. It's coming. Believe me when I tell you, give it a year, that's going to be one of the best media pages around. All right? And with that being said, if anybody wants to cop any merch, Hater World thehaterworld.net www.thehaterworld.net go cop some merch everybody's been shipped out i sent everybody extra and that's what we're gonna do black friday i'm gonna give everybody i don't know a 30 percent discount uh i'm gonna put it up on the website i'm gonna drop all the prices i'm gonna hook it up but for everybody that already ordered just know you've been shipped out with extra all right I, I do check it out. I want everybody to know this. I always do extra. So whatever you order, you're always getting extra. Always. Always. All right. So go show some love. www.thehaterworld.net. All right. With that being said, and nothing else to be said. Let's watch this video. T route This is Adam 22's daughter and speaks his mind. Now we did this video on the uncensored page, but it was just a live. We were just chopping it up back and forth but we're going to do a south side reaction now so with that being said let's get you guys a south siders reaction let's go come on war time man i want Oof. everybody to hate me okay i want you to hate me for the rest of your life man you feel me it's enough disrespect i'm gonna tell you how i'm gonna go i'm gonna tell you how i'm gonna be disrespectful man i want you to always hate me i'm gonna never fuck with you Ever, you feel me? There's there's gonna be always a beef with me. This is on site every time. Win, lose, or draw. You can pack me out, whatever you wanna do. You feel me? Because I'm gonna try to get mines every single time. You feel me? But this is a message for you. You feel me? For those that haven't seen the other videos and probably don't know what this is about, first I'm gonna give a shout out to IQ Shahid. That homie's been rocking with my channel since the beginning of time. So those that don't follow IQ Shahid, go hit him up. This video comes from his page. But check it out. Adam22 recently did a video where he said that t Rao is broke. t Rao filed bankruptcy saying that uh, t Rao's wife is a 304. You know, uh, that t Rao a punk, that t Rao a wannabe. He, he went all out. He went all out. But you know what Adam22 forgot to do? He forgot to look in the mirror. He forgot to look in the mirror. And those that get what I'm saying, 
get what I'm saying. Let's go. Tell Parker when she see me, when you get older, when you see this, Parker, you feel me? Like, I'm going to kick you in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> and fuck your daddy. You feel me? And fuck your grandma, too. You feel me? But that's just where I'm at with it. Damn. Damn, YouTube really going to crucify me on this one. Check this out. Parker is Adam 22's daughter. Now, look, we all know, right, Southside homies, we don't get involved with children, women and kids, older people. Uh, you know, we don't do things to the mother, to the father. We don't get down like that. Even though there is people that will do stupid shit like that, eventually they'll get dealt with. But we don't do that. We don't take pride in that, right? Uh T Rao is not a Southsider, of course. You know, his rules don't, we don't, he don't abide by our rules, right? But you could tell that he is finally fed up and tired of allowing Adam 22 to talk the way that he does. And even though that's not accepted in our culture, you know, I have a feeling that he's doing it for the simple fact of. I'm finally going to be very disrespectful to the point where you're going to have to come look for me. Let's see if you're really about that. I'm going to disrespect your wife, your kids. Let's see if you with the business too. And let's not forget, Adam just disrespected this fool's wife. So Adam took it there. He took it there. You know, I'm pretty sure t Rail got kids. Adam disrespecting the, the mother of his kids. So if you playing that way, the homie probably feels like he got to play the same way too. Now, if Adam really a, a big dog like he say, he going to handle business. But I don't think he is. Let's go. I'll speak more on it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but always hate me though, cuz. Mm. Peace, I'm gone. I'll do that for you. Damn, I don't even have that button no more. Shots fired. Shots fired. Hey, uh, listen, I, I wouldn't disrespect nobody's kids. Right? Unless, I'll tell you, I, I'm not going to lie to you. Now, if a guy came r trying to mess with my kids, you know what? I couldn't even tell you that. I couldn't. I, I could not even do that. I would say if a guy came to mess with my kids, I would mess with his. I don't even got kids, but if they, if I did... I, I still couldn't, though. I still couldn't, bro. Kids ain't got shit to do with it. It's not in me, you know. And I, I don't think T-Rail means that he's going to do something to that kid. I think he's simply saying it for the simple fact of, all right, you want to run your mouth? I'm going to run my mouth, too. Do something about it. I don't think Adam's going to do shit. All it had to be said. Well, in, why did y'all... This is what... I liked it when we wasn't saying nothing. That was a big bomb drop. Who pushed him over? Who 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 encouraged that? A D? Bitch, all. I'm here. Not at all. Look at the chat. Oh shit. Whoa. I think it's safe to say that uh tired. The mic was, was a man of his own mind, That's sound right. mind, sound heart, and he made his own decision. I don't think nobody pressed him to do that except the motherfucker he got an issue he with. He said he yeah. wanted niggas to hate him. He don't care. Well, don't give so a fuck. salute to him for that, nigga. Ain't yeah. back in he did say he wants him to hate him, right? So now he's basically saying there's no coming back from this. We can never be friends. We can never clean it up. You disrespected my wife. I disrespected your kid. That's it. The line has been crossed. No more. No more. So now when I see you, I'm going to handle business. And when you see me, handle business too. I don't think Adam's going to do anything. Let's go. Uh, Back in other news. Ain't ducking nothing, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to him. How do we segue from that one? Reset. <laughs> do we got to go? Do we got a good story? Hey, so hey, the homie drove over here and said that. Literally, literally, literally pulled up. Hey. Pass me the Andre. I need something. Man, listen. How do we change the topic? Yeah. All right. Well. I'm going to say this. I'm going to look right into that camera. All right. I guess we're going to get a two for one. Don't forget that Adam 22 said that he felt like AD was his real friend, that AD was humbled by all of this, still trying to clown, you know, trying to say that uh, 
He's not going to mention AD's name because they had a real friendship. Regardless, he's still disrespecting by saying that AD felt humbled. Bro, you ain't humble nobody. Let's go. I'm talking to you, Adam22. I heard everything today that you said. Now, you said that you don't have no uh, wrath for me anymore. You said that because you think that I feel humbled and I don't have nothing else going on. Cool. I think it's the complete opposite. I think people like you, you know what I'm saying? Probably are the same type of people that thought the same shit about Gilly. You know what I'm saying? When he was going that Lil Wayne and people probably thought that his rap career was over and he's more relevant than ever. Damn, facts. Maybe Complex thought the same thing about academics. That after that everyday struggle was gonna go on, they weren't gonna do he wasn't gonna do anything. Maybe the same as Joe Button. Everybody that, you know what I'm saying, comes from a certain area, a certain place at the end of the day, had to conquer certain things like that. Facts. And I'm gonna keep it all the way a hundred. It's actually the opposite when I go out places, industry events streets anything the first thing that people tell me is i'm so glad that you got away from that place that's crazy i'm so glad that you got away from that place now let's keep it real i for sure ain't got more money than you none of us do not yet not yet not yet you know, listen, in this world, in this world, today you could be up here and tomorrow you could be down here. I want people to understand that. When you understand that, you will live by different codes, different meaning of life. You'll have you'll have a different meaning of life. Today you could have it all, be the better, best podcaster, a best businessman, hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank. Tomorrow... Something might happen, and now you ain't nothing. That's why you're always supposed to be humble and respectful. You know, uh, let me tell you what I think. I think that Adam22 knows that these guys are going to be top dogs in a couple of years, right? Okay. The reason Adam went at these guys saying that they had no more numbers, nobody watches them, their their career is going down the drain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If that's the truth... If your enemy's career is going down the drain, you're not going to egg it on. You're going to sit there and watch them fade away. Because if they're not doing good numbers, if they're not getting views, you don't need to do nothing. Why do I need to go talk smack about these guys when they're killing themselves? Why do I need to step in and hit them with the kill shot if they're killing themselves? Right? Obviously, Adam probably feels like these are going to be the top guys in a couple of years in a couple of years right so what he's doing he's trying to discredit them diss them discourage them in order for these guys to feel like man we should just give up bro because it ain't working out ain't nobody rocking with us adam probably right and then these guys cut the show themselves now adam got everything to himself because when your enemy is doing bad, bro, who cares? Let them do. They're doing bad. You know, it's like they say in basketball, right? If you're going to talk smack, talk smack when you when you down, not when you up, right? You can't be winning by 20 points talking smack, right? Talk the same smack when you're at the bottom trying to get to the top. You know, Adam sees it coming. And he's trying to nip it in the butt. He sees it coming. But one thing I can say is that we're building something over here, figuring this shit out as we go, Facts. as a family. We literally just sold out three shows independently in different markets. And yeah, I hear all the narratives that we paid for this, whatever. We did this shit together and as i hear that rant that you did today and i look around the room 
I see almost everybody is quiet. Almost yep. everybody is quiet. Sharp, break, baby. Because Fat deep soul. down inside, you know that everybody that you sit next to, without you giving them that check, your relationship cease to exist. Facts. Ain't not there. Facts. Niggas ain't there for you. And I ain't, you know, that's everybody. I even seen your birthday. It looked like a lot of motherfuckers that was just there for the party. Mm. Who's actually there for Adam 22? For the clout. They're there for the clout. Now, when your business wasn't going so good, you came and found... When your business wasn't doing so good, who's a doctor they came to see? Dr. Dre. Gave an opportunity from a nigga from Compton. Oh, shit. Compton. Who helped design the whole business model that you live by right now. Started it. And regardless of whatever you got to say about us, at least I know every night I can go to my pillow and know that I did no wrong to nobody that I love and I care for. Talk your shit. I can sit there and sleep good at night. Can you sleep good at night knowing that almost everybody that you come in contact with got something bad to say about you? Can't be everybody's fault. Everybody can't be the person that's doing all that shit. You get what I'm saying? You got to look at yourself in the mirror, and I know you, and you know me. It seems like you not really, really happy these days. You doing things now that I never thought that you would do. Selling his wife. And all that fake happiness and all that shit, nigga, any real nigga can see through that shit. You ain't happy, man. Fuck the numbers. Fuck all of that. How does your soul feel, my nigga? Facts. One thing that I do know is if you ask anybody that's ever came across No Jumper and watched No Jumper, they will always say that the best era was when me, you, and House Phone was sitting at that desk. Since that ain't there no more, that shit watered down and dry. I don't care what you think numbers and how many times you want to chop up clips and make new brand new business models. So don't let my lack of enthusiasm make you think that I'm timid or scared or any type of thing. And I'm going to be a hundred percent. I'm right. What he means by that is look, just cause I'm quiet. Just cause I'm respectful. Don't mean I won't slap you across the face. You know, a lot of times, bro, a lot of times it ain't even worth it to bark. It ain't even worth it to talk smack or go back and forth. It's not. Because sometimes you might feel like the other guy that's parking is nothing, nobody, a weenie, a mark, a buster. In the words of the 5-5 five -five general, a custer. You know, listen, sometimes, bro, you don't even want to go back and forth, but you have to for the fans, for the watchers, for the people that you got to entertain. They start looking at you like, oh, you're weak. You don't want to reply. Oh, you scared. No, I'm not. I'm not. I just don't want to respond to a nobody, a garbage man, a mugroso, a, a, you know, whatever. I don't want to respond. For what? He ain't going to do shit anyways. Like, if he wanted to do something, he would do it in the physical form. But I got to entertain you guys, so here we go. All my niggas to the wheels fall off. Mm. Whatever they want to do. And you got to live with the fact that some of your most cool, fuck all that, your most loyal soldier, you had to drop the ball with. Drop the ball on, yo. So every time that you sit there and talk, yeah, I know for reals. I know what it really is. Because me, I actually had love for you. I actually would have crashed out for you. Wow. I would have took a charge for you. I would have did anything for you. AD just said he would have took the charge for Adam 22. I believe him. You know, you know what the problem is? The problem is that AD looked at him like a real friend. You know, Adam is not with the function. He's not a gangster, gang banger. So I'm gonna make sure that nobody fucks with this wood. And I respect that because when I'm with homies that are not with the with the bullshit, I make sure they're safe at all time. That's what our alpha does. You know, we make sure that the little homie is cool. He's not a game banger. Don't fuck with him. Fuck with me. I'm with the shit. What's up? Right? Or I respect that. But you know what the problem is? The problem is that Adam 22 has so much money, he can buy himself another loyal soldier. You know, he can buy himself another another uh, 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 pair of, of 
co-host. He could buy himself more friends. And he ain't never going to learn, bro. Because as long as Brick Baby comes along, uh, uh, as long as uh, the other guy, Sharp, comes along, once they leave, some two other guys will come and other guys will come. And everybody's going to feel the need to protect this man for the simple fact of this man's making, giving me a check, making me uh, famous, so I'm going to make sure nobody rocks with him, nobody fucks with him, right? And it ain't never going to end. It's always going to be that cycle until the homies realize, like, fuck this fool. I don't care how much bread you give me. You a buster, and ain't nobody from the hood going to rock with you. Until that day happens, Adam ain't never going to learn, ever. Check it out. With that being said, salute to AD from the community. Uh, you know, I, I really rock with his channel. I rock with his movement. Uh, I, I'm I'm actually happy that he was able to move on and start to build his company. Because I say give it three, four years, his company is going to be on top. It don't happen overnight. Success comes to those that work hard. You know, you can't just wake up one day and expect it to, to be on your lap. You got to work hard at it. You know, you might have months that do bad. You might have months that do great. But the goal is to never quit. Continue to go. Become a household name. Let people know who you are. Continue to invest. You know, continue to grind. Continue to find new avenues to be able to be in everybody's face, computer, phone. You know, the day you stop for a few months is the day people forget about you and move on to the next. And I think Adam22 sees that. He sees the grind. You know, uh... And like he said, he all his homeboys are riding with him. All these people here, they like family. So anybody that out there that wants to get into any type of business or any type of uh, 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 you know, online persona, you just gotta be. You just gotta be uh, uh, what's that? Uh, consistent. You just gotta be consistent. You can't stop. Can't stop. Be consistent. St keep growing. Don't stop growing. You know, eventually something's gonna give. Uh, with all that being said and nothing else to be said, like I said, shout out to uh, AD, t Row and the community. Shout out to Duno. Uh, shout out to everybody that's that's working. Everybody. If you wake up at 6 in the morning ready to grind, salute to you. If you wake up at 1 in the afternoon and, and you scratch your balls and eat some cereal and play some video games, don't hit me up. I'm not rocking with you. Salute to everybody that actually is grinding. Uh, with that being said, make sure you guys catch us live this Friday. 7 p.m. on Hater World Uncensored. And go hit me up directly at The Hater World and follow our group, Hater World Media, www.thehaterworld.net. And with that, uh, I'm Blue Devil. This has been a Hater World production, and we out.